guys, full time at the Etihad. It's Man City 3, Arsenal 1. And if I'm honest, if you'd offered me that before, I probably would have taken it. Um, I feared it would be worse. So, I mean, look, I, I expected us to lose and we lost. It wasn't a great performance. I thought there were encouraging signs in the first half. But we didn't sustain it for 90 minutes. I don't think we could sustain it physically. I don't think we could sustain it tactically. And we were undone by poor defensive errors. It's kind of a curious thing. They completely dominated us. But every goal you could look at and say, well, you know, the first one was a terrible giveaway by Wobi. The second one, Licksteiner switches off, doesn't track his man. The third one's a handball. You could kind of write them off. That said, Leno made, I think, seven saves or nine saves in the game, something like that. There's no debate. They were the better team. They are the better team. You know, they are something like what we aspire to. Oh, and here's an interesting thought. I keep hearing people criticise, you know, Emery for changing the formation all the time. But then when I look at Liverpool and City, who are probably the two best teams in this country, definitely are, they change their formation constantly. Constantly. And Pep did it again today with... uh, Fernandinho dropping in in and out of the defence as a kind of holding midfield player. Liverpool, you know, sometimes Salah's through the middle, sometimes he's on the right, sometimes Shaqiri's number 10, sometimes he's deeper, sometimes he's right wing. They are constantly uh, reinventing the wheel. That is the way modern football is going. And we do have a modern coach. You might not like him. You might not be sure he's the right guy. You might not be sure he's good enough but we have got a modern coach and he is trying to implement those things at Arsenal and I back that and I must say one of the things that Unai Emery's first half season in a job has made me realise is I think the culture of being a supporter has changed dramatically you know Arsenal haven't really been through this process of having a new manager and it has shocked me quite how little faith quite how little patience the support base have in a new man, especially given the scale of the job. Let's not forget what he inherited, a broken team, a broken team, a broken squad, broken morale, fractured fan base. Uh, The summer signings were largely done before he was even on board. In January, he was told he could only make loan signings. Uh, He's competing with teams like Liverpool, City, who've got real spending power, Chelsea, You know, a Spurs side who are frankly just better than us at the moment. Uh, That's without mentioning United and and what they've got at their disposal. And I think I am sort of shocked and disappointed that people are already starting to turn on him and say this guy's not good enough. This is going to take time. I find it hilarious that Chelsea fans think Sarri's up to nothing. Because I've looked at what Sarri's done in Italy and it's very clear he's a competent coach with an idea of how he wants to play football. Yes, there are teething problems. It's not happening for him this season. But he needs time to implement that. And when I see their fans saying Sarri out or anything like that, I think it's hilarious. And I think fans of other clubs must look at Arsenal and think the same. You know, when there was so much dissent last season, I always thought, well, it's because of Arsene Wenger. And I think it was a reasonable position to think that Arsene Wenger had brought the team as far as he could. He had been the manager for more than 20 years. Unai Emery's been in 20 minutes. You know, people have got a problem. And I think what's happened is that in those last few years of Arsene Wenger's reign, people started to distrust the manager, distrust the coach. And as I say, I think that was a reasonable position because he kept making the same mistakes. Season after season, right? Season after season. Unai Emery's not had a full season at Arsenal. And I can hear people making proclamations about he's not good enough or, you know. And I find it genuinely distasteful. Because I, maybe I'm slightly older, I'm 32. I remember when Arsene Mega came to the club. Uh, and you you back your manager. You back your manager. If he's as much part of the team as any of these players, you know, he's got to lose that trust. He should be starting from a position of good faith. And I don't think he's done enough to lose it. You know? If you're a sceptic, 
from the start, then maybe you wouldn't be convinced. But if you're a skeptic from the start, what sort of supporter are you? Uh, I'm not even his biggest fan. That's the funny thing. Like I've got my own queries about Emery. I'm not sure that it's coherent what he's trying to do. But I respect the scale of the job that he has on his hands. And I think it will take time. And frankly, what else are we going to do? Who else are we going to get? And there are people out there, sort of high-profile Arsenal fans, whose brand exists to be negative. And I thought that might shift when Arsene left and that people would kind of usher in a new era of optimism and we would behave like fans again. And that hasn't happened. That's not to say today was perfect. There was loads wrong with it. Loads wrong with it. You know, Zick Steiner is poor. Iwobi did make a terrible mistake. Uh, I thought it was probably the wrong decision to go with two strikers instead of a an Aaron Ramsey, say, someone who gave a bit more legs going the other direction. Yeah. But I will say that first half was a darn sight better than any half football we put up against Man City last season. You know, if I think of the Carling Cup final and the Carabao Cup final, sorry, and the game that followed it, we didn't get close. There were times in that first half where we looked like we might get close. We're not going to get close. We haven't got a good enough team. They are miles ahead. Miles ahead. And anyone who suspected anything dramatically different than what we got today is absolutely living in a dream world. Um, Yeah, I just find it unpleasant. I find it unpleasant and I find it sort of disappointing. I think we have to commit to the project and it will take time. It's Emery's catchphrase, trust the process. I'm not sure enough of us are trusting the process and it's because of that culture of distrust and it's because of social media and the way people feel entitled to things these days and stuff like that. But you've got to go through the mill to come out the other side. There might not be a quick fix. Um, yeah. Anyway. Fed up. Not really fed up about the game. I expected it. Fed up about some of the reception. I just don't know what people thought they were going to get at Man City. Right, I'll leave it there. Bye.